ADHD is on the rise. What does attention deficit disorder mean on the spiritual path? Let's have a look. Welcome to Shores of Infinity with your host Chris speaking, this time about HDHD. Especially for this video, I chose a video background instead of a picture because it's about short attention span. You need moving pictures, otherwise your attention switches to somewhere else. That's basically it. If you have the hyperactivity variation, then you also need to be physically moving all the time. Nowadays, a shockingly large proportion of all elementary and high school pupils have ADHD or ADD with or without hyperactivity. And where does it come from? Many of you will think, okay, I also have this or still have this. What's so special about this? It has gotten stronger in children. Why? The famous trauma therapist Gabor Mate said it's for him, it's mostly a matter of trauma, of post traumatic stress syndrome that causes ADHD or ADD. This is true. This is often a cause, but there are a lot of kids who don't seem to be traumatized and still suffer from it. Partly this is because you think traumatized means that he or she must have been beaten or abused or something. But this is not the only possibility. You don't have to grow up in a concentration camp like Gabo Mate to develop post-traumatic stress syndrome and ADHD. It's also enough to have a narcissistic parent, for example, or to be ignored a lot as a child. And this happens to a lot of children. Both parents have to work to make ends meet and the children are at home a lot, feel abandoned. And then there are children where none of this fits and they still develop ADD or ADHD. And the parents are completely flabbergasted. How can this happen to my child, to our child? Well, there are more factors that can cause this. Poisoning, for example. Plastic poisoning, chemical poisoning from pesticides or herbicides, for example. Then heavy metal poisoning. All the freaky stuff that happened during the last four years can contribute, worsen, trigger ADD or ADHD. Cell phone addictions, of course, worsen it, but they're not the cause. They just compound it. Um, someone who has ADHD, of course, for him or her, the cell phone is the perfect tool of distraction. But I saw it in school. I've been teaching a little bit on the side in high school and I saw that uh, most kids nowadays, they can't even watch a movie. They cannot even watch a movie and remember any of the content. After a few minutes, they're gone internally. They switched off. To follow a movie for 90 minutes or longer is an impossibility for most kids. And even in university, there are studies about university students in Germany, for example, there was a study that about two-thirds of all the university students who had been asked, interviewed, um, count themselves as depressed and overwhelmed. And many of them are taking psych medications like antidepressants, for example. This can be a late cause of the drugs you usually get for ADHD, you get amphetamines and they do help to some degree, but they wreak havoc on the system and can later cause depression. Not officially, of course, but that's the um, experience of many therapists. So what does this mean for us here on the spiritual path? If someone suffers from this disorder or syndrome, actually it's a syndrome, to one degree or another, what does it mean? It firstly means you have to look for the cause. 
is it a traumatic cause or is it a toxic cause or both and then treat accordingly and then afterwards the next step is to stop taking yourself seriously stop this fucking taking yourself seriously all these intrusions mostly it's intrusions intrusions of thoughts and emotions if you've done your homework and solved your trauma and you show that you're not poisoned anymore then stop taking yourself seriously it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter the thing that matters is the ego the ego thinks that everything matters especially you it this is not the case to quote freddie mercury here nothing really matters anyone can see nothing really matters nothing really matters to me fuck it. And then there's the contributing factor, of course, that we're living in a psycho ass society which is totally degenerate and sick. And what is the appropriate answer for children to that? How to react to that? Maybe the appropriate answer is to develop uh, ADHD. Who knows?